I'm Chris Loomis. I'm going to be your safety presenter. My background, DuPont. So nobody gets hurt. That's got to really be their goal at the plant. And for yourself personally, think about this. Take this home. This isn't just a presentation to be safe at work. This is a presentation to be safe for your life. You'll all recognize this one real easy. Here's another thing that might help you out. Remember, when you go home and you're safe, you model it for your children. You model it for your family. And they watch what you do, and they become safer. So it passes forward, generation to generation. When you're safe at work and you're, more, you're one of the more experienced workers, the senior workers, younger workers will model after you. Can you create an accident-free work environment? Yes or no? Can you? That's really good because the first two groups said, no, you can't. Yes, you can. Who's the safest person you should know? Me. You. Well, that's great because the uh, group before last said it was an engineer or a pilot. Yeah, you want those guys to be safe, absolutely. You would hope you're going to be safe. And you hope the person to your right and to your left is the next safest person you know. Because you want them to be safe too. Because they can affect your health. You can affect theirs. This was the key that helped uh, the Victoria plant be safe for over four years without a lost time. It's a 24-7. At DuPont, for years and years, they taught safety. So the, the plant records were very, very good. And, and the reason DuPont was safe, I mean, why DuPont, not Shell, Dow, Monsanto, Union Carbide? DuPont started in this country in the 1700s, and it made black powder for the Revolutionary War. Well, in making black powder, they blew up part of their family. So if they wanted to make it to the next generation, they had to learn how to do it safely. And so that culture started all the way back in the 1700s. So when I finally went to work with them in the 80s, they had a very solid culture of safety. But they found that 96% of their employees were getting injured at home and on the road. So they thought if they could teach a system to be safe at home, and safe on the road, then it would probably help the people be even safer at work. Having a 24-7 having a safety value, a core value to yourself, where you're not turning on safety when you get to work, turn it off when you get in the car, when it's all the time, and it's a, it takes a while. It took us over three years when we decided to do that at DuPont. It didn't happen the first or second month or third month. But when people started being as safe at home as they were at work, and as safe as work as they were at home, then they experienced a lot fewer accidents in their life. Work accidents went down dramatically. At some plants, they went years without a reportable. It was a three-year process. This was not one person standing up here for 45 minutes and everyone became safe. But it was a process. It was a continuing education process. Over three years, accidents that people had at home and on the road went down over 90% accidents at the plant almost disappeared. Why was that? Because if you're thinking safety when you're mowing the grass and you use your steel toe shoes, which no one does, you don't cut off the end of your foot like my brother-in-law did. My brother-in-law is a research chemist at Dow. Dow Freeport's probably the largest chemical plant in the world. It's four times as big as any DuPont plant. It's huge, it's a city. He'd been there 30 years, research chemist, PhD, smart guy, and he calls me up one day and says, Chris, you'll never guess what happened. I said, I don't know. I mean, this guy likes watching paint dry. So I have, I have no idea what's exciting to him. And he said, well, I was mowing the grass, and I had my shower shoes on, and my foot slipped. I cut off the end of my foot. I mean, he was so careful that when he got out of his car, or actually before he got out of his car at the plant, he put on safety glasses. He never took them off until he got back in the car to go home. But at home, he didn't use safety glasses. He didn't use steel toe shoes. He didn't use ear protection. And think about this. When you mow the grass, how good is your tennis shoe against that blade? 
How good is your shower shoe against that blade? Think about when you're edging. That's a 140 decibel little tiny single stroke engine. 30 minutes degrades your hearing, but you wear air protection at work. Think about those little rocks kicked up by that little piece of filament line. That little rock kicked up is 200 miles an hour. Go right through your eye like that. But we don't use safety. How many people use safety equipment at home, PPE at home? OK, a few, great. Now, if you all did that, and you all thought about that, and you thought about safety on the road, then when you come to the plant, it's just a natural carryover. You don't think about it. And that was the paradigm shift that we had. It was a huge paradigm shift. People no longer had to think about being safe at work because they were being safe all the time. It was just something they did. It was a core value. Is 99.9% .9 a good enough expectation? Is that a good enough goal to shoot for? No. No. And I'll show you why. What does 99.9 .9 mean? What's the difference between 100% and 99.9? .9? There's one-tenth of 1%. 1 just a little tiny fraction. It means that one hour of unsafe drinking water every month. Now, you don't know when that hour is going to be, but that hour, you drink the water and you're going to be sick. It means two unsafe landings at Atlanta airport. That's a huge airport. 200,000 incorrect drug prescriptions. You hope you don't get one of them. 500 incorrect surgeries every single week. 50 newborn babies dropped in your head. 50 babies dropped in their head every day. I hope there was none of you that was one of those 50. You look around, yeah, yeah, I think you would. Yeah. <laughs> and a quarter million defective tires. You have, oh, I hope I don't have one of those tires. Oh, what does it mean to your plant? Let's put 800 people. Let's put both plants together, bottling and brewing. So what does it mean? A near miss every single six seconds, or every six seconds. A near miss. That's one-tenth of one percent. First aid every 36 seconds, safety manager's going to be running out of paper. <laughs> Recordable every 30 hours, one tenth of one percent. Lost time every 312 days, or fatality every 300 months. I know when I gave a couple presentations early yesterday morning, I asked the group, I said, Is it possible to have an accident free work environment? And the answer I received back was, Absolutely not. Cannot do that. You have to work toward that. <laughs> if it's your expectation that you can do that, through time, I guarantee you can do it. I've seen it done. I've worked there. I've been doing this for a couple of decades. I've seen plants go from where they're really challenged in safety to virtually perfect. But it's a core thing that each individual has. It's a team effort between people. And it's something that you take within your system. You know, you have to practice it. I'm Chris Loomis. Thank you. And be safe. Thank you.